Welcome back to the channel guys, I am Sam, and today we're going to be talking about the 2022 Can-Am Defender Max Limited. Stay tuned. Alright, good morning guys. So, what do you got going on today? Hit me up in the comments below. Also, please support us. Hit that subscription button. There's a Rocky Mountain ATV link in the description as well. You can buy all your parts and your gears that you can see here on this UTV. And we get a small commission. So thank you in advance. We appreciate it. So this is a 2022. And it's the Can-Am Defender Max Limited Edition. And we're going to do a whole walk around. Kind of give you all the bells and whistles show you everything that comes from the factory and then also i'm going to show you what we've added to the machines at the very end of this video we are also going to give you the things i love about this machine and the things that i hate about this machine but first let's do a walk around is our Can-Am Defender Limited. And what the Limited means that is it's basically just comes with, it's got doors, it's got windows that are glass, a glass windshield. So fully enclosed cab comes with heat and AC in this. So pretty nice, it's like a mini truck. Guys, these are 30 inch tires with 14 inch wheels. So these are the Tusk Megabyte. And we've got the Tusk rims as well. These are the Tetons. And this higher size is 30 by 10 by 14. So really awesome tires. These are awesome. They are DOT approved. We're really excited about them. This is, we've only had like one, one uh, uh, trip of the cabin on these. We had tracks on before. So same size all the way around. As you can see here as well, Really like the bed. This is a dumping bed as well. So you have a handle here and it'll come. If you need it to, tons of room. And the rear windows are not automatic. You have to open them and adjust them. They only crack. We put a rear view mirror on here. And, but like I said, the limited comes with all the glass here. So we turn the key on. We've got power windows, which is really awesome. We have a windshield wiper and also a way to open this door or this window is you can, whoa, that was dusty. You can open it that way or you can half open it as well by just doing it like that. Um, the AC is down here. Let's turn it on. So it has AC and heat. Check this out right here. So right now it's on AC. So you have to push the button to go through the different settings. So, so now let's go to heat. You go medium, high, low, or you can actually set what you want the, so it's at 57, you can go to, 80 and it gets really hot in here. We've got a back seat. This folds down so you can put some cups and actually this one is a little bit bigger so some of your bigger drinks will fit in there. This seat comes up as well. Most of the seats come up which is really awesome. So tons of storage space. This is a removable uh, basically box and then we have uh, another place to put some of your drinks the other thing is one thing i don't like is the shift gear the, sh the shifting isn't very awesome it does not smooth it's kind of clunky and sometimes it gets hard and that really bothers me i wish it was an easier pull but so one thing to note is even though this is super long compared to like our we had a maverick um x3 
and the Maverick X3 with the 72 inch wide did not have nearly as good turning radius as this did. Even though they're probably similar in length, this, this Defender has a way better turning radius. Now, the one thing too is this only has, I think it's like 85 horsepower versus like the 195, I guess it's like 205 or 201, the new ones have. love about this Can-Am Defender Max Limited. I really love the cab and the glass. That to me is awesome. In conjunction with that to be able to have heat and AC is amazing. It makes the experience of driving down the road way better. Is that worth it for some people? No. We typically use our machines for work. Uh, so as the Can-Am Defender is probably not, it's more work oriented versus straight up fun um we're using it to for our snow grooming business hauling people cabin access going to the top of mounting and hunting and and so forth so it's more of a work vehicle for us i love the ability that we can haul so many people in this thing it really does a fantastic job at hauling people it is really long and for a utv i'm surprised how actually small it feels there's some times where you know, we get stuck with the breakover being so long that we, you know, we don't make it up stuff we would with some of our other UTVs that we have uh, is easy. But for the most part, it really handles well. So it has good turning radius. Um, it's really comfortable. The suspension is really nice. The seats are okay. I feel like they're a little too upright. And so after a while, it kind of feels like it's pushing you forward. But they are overall really comfortable. It's a Cadillac. It's really nice and comfortable and makes it awesome for the whole family all right let's talk about some things that i hate about the can-am defender max limited so i absolutely hate that it does not have locking differential all the way around so it only has a rear locker and to me i think that's a big mistake for a machine this big i think it's just it just needs a little extra help in some scenarios obviously we're using it a lot in in harsh conditions so been able to have locking differential all the way around would really help us with the four-wheel drive the other thing i hate is how the doors open so they open and they basically are suicide doors and when you're downhill they get yanked open and basically the 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 little wire that holds the door here just gets ripped out and i constantly have been fixing those and replacing those and it just happens over and over again. And then if the wire's not there, it gets yanked all the way back and actually bends some of the mounting brackets. And then the door kind of, you have to shimmy the door around to get it to fit right. Bad design, I think that's super annoying. The other thing is opening suicide. The wind catches it all the time. Kids coming in and out, they just, you know, just not really, uh, to me, a good design. The next thing that I hate is that it came with 27 inch tires and that uh, the front and rear are different. Now, I know this is nitpicky and probably even a little bit vain, but I feel like the tires are just too small for this rig. This rig is a big machine, so to me, I feel like you at least have to put 30-inch tires on it. Now, I put 30-inch tires all the way around, and they're the Tusk Megabyte with the, the Tusk Teton. Really love these tires, a solid tire. So I put a 30 by 10, by uh by you know r14 all the way around so they are dot approved i can rotate them if i want to but uh that way they're just easier to be able to replace tires you know my spare is going to be the same size of all of these as well another thing that i hate and i know this would be the cause the cost to go up but i wish that the windows in the rear would actually roll down too so that you can get more airflow in there and right now they just crack open which isn't the end of the world. And sometimes it's actually good for the kids because they're not, you know, messing around with the windows, pushing my buttons all the time. But, you know, for how much you pay for it, I'd like just throw, throw some power windows in the back as well. It's a mini truck. Why not, right? Last thing I hate about the Can-Am Defender Max Limited, the 2022, is I hate 
the the lights so the lights are just not bright enough they they aren't so uh when you're in a storm or a snowstorm it's just you just outrun your lights and i wish you know you could you know can-am would put on some serious lights we had to do that ourselves it's an easy fix to be honest so it's not the bigger the big deal but that's something i don't like but overall guys i freaking love this machine it's one of my favorite utvs that we've ever owned we've owned Polaris's, Yamaha's, uh, Kawasaki's, uh, we've owned Hondas. Uh, we in fact have a Honda Pioneer 1000 five seater that we really like. It's one of my other favorite machines. So we've had a ton of experience with UTVs and even though this one's really big and so sometimes you get, you get into trouble, overall it just does what it's supposed to do which is haul people, haul gear and be a great work machine while doing it in comfort and possibly looking good as well all right so we're now we're gonna jump into the things that we've added to make the, our experience better for this uh can-am defender max limited so we added the tusk megabyte tires and rims and it's a locking bead these are like i said 30 inch tires making it way better we added a light bar from tusk as well M lights up way better gives us a ton of ton of light i've been thinking about adding more light bars to this machine as well. Um, we added a Rayco street legal kit, um, even though we haven't street legaled it yet, but we probably will. And then we uh, added a roof rack and so that we can haul more gear. A lot of times in the winter time, we're hauling a lot of our equipment in for snow grooming and plus, you know, snowboarding skis, sleds, and we don't have our trucks, so we can't drive in. So we have to drive six miles in the snow um, from the parking lot, which isn't a big deal, but it just means we gotta, we just kind of overpack. And so being able to have plenty of room in the machine makes this thing awesome. The winch that comes with the uh, Can-Am in the front is a good winch, but because this thing's so long, we also are gonna be adding a Tusk winch to the rear to be able to pull myself out and pull and use it as equipment from the back as well smart with a big machine like this especially in you know we spend a lot of time like i said in the winter and we get a lot of snow up here and and an average of four to five feet is on the ground the whole winter and sometimes when we get big storms you know one storm in two days we got three feet of snow and you know we got stuck really bad coming into the cabin and it's nice to be able to have a winch to be able to pull you forward or back and versus just mount it up here and for doing work things as well it's really awesome so we're gonna be you know throwing that on there and using that as well all right guys that's the 2022 can-am defender max limited let me know what you guys think what did i miss comment below thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video